Hello. Can you eat a lemon without making a face? I bet you can't. We can't stop clenching our fists or shrugging our shoulders when we eat sour fruits. While we all love the taste of tangy lemons and other sour fruits, tamarind, raw mango to name a few, we always end up making this expression. And why do you think do we do that? It's the sourness, of course. The more the sourness, the stronger is our expression. This sourness in our foods is due to the presence of certain substances which are commonly known as acids. Now, let's try eating soap. Yeah, I mean, have you ever wondered what does soap taste like and what does it feel like? Does it taste bitter? Is it slimy? Is it soapy? Or a combination of all three? Many substances that we use in our kitchen such as baking soda and chuna, lime, leave a similar bitter and soapy feel in our mouth, quite unlike the sour acidic things. That's because the baking soda and lime are basic, which is the exact opposite of acidic. Being acidic or basic is the chemical nature of a substance. And how do we find out whether a substance is acidic or basic? There are chemical indicators to indicate whether a substance is acidic or basic. Hey, are you interested to find out more about acids and bases? Do you want to learn which chemicals can be used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic? And what is the color change in these chemicals? And what will happen if you were to mix an acid with a base? Welcome to this interesting course called the Colorful World of Chemical Indicators. In this course, we will learn about the nature of acids and bases. We will also learn about the different indicators that we can use to check whether a substance is acidic or basic and what is the color change in these indicators. Finally, we will learn what happens when an acid meets a base. Come, let's go. Oh, by the way, this course is designed around the NCERT Science 7 syllabus called as Acids, Bases and Salts. It is suitable for all children from the age of 11 to 13 years.